On a glorious sunny day in southern Germany, these solar panels generate lots of electricity. But it's not always like this. That's why the Pfluger family recently bought a battery system to store any surplus solar energy. Today we fed around 14 kilowatt hours into the system, but we used a little over 40. That's because it's laundry day. All the machines use solar power. But even when it's raining, the family can wash and cook. Thanks to the storage system, they're not governed by the weather or the time of day. I think it's really great. I can use my washing machine when I want. I produce my own electricity and I'm doing something good for the environment. When there isn't enough power left in the battery, Thomas Pfluger can buy electricity from members of a group called the Zonnen community. Their storage systems are digitally networked. Someone somewhere usually has a bit to spare and much cheaper than at standard rates. Our primary concern isn't cost, it's more about the idea behind it. You have lots of these small power generators and you share the electricity within the community. It's an exchange. And that's a really great vision, a great concept. The Zonnen company started dealing in solar storage systems seven years ago. So far, they've installed more than 20,000. No other company sells more in Europe. But Zonnen doesn't just sell batteries. Homeowners without their own solar power facilities can still participate by joining what's known as the city system. Membership costs around 4,000 euros. That gets you some electricity. The rest you can buy from Zonnen's community network. The demand for power storage devices is growing globally. Besides Europe, Zonen now also delivers to the US and Australia. Africa is another potentially big market. You'd need robust devices for Africa. That would be one of the main challenges. They'd have to withstand certain weather conditions, like high temperatures, the outdoor conditions there. And there are things like purchasing power and profitability. So there's still some work to be done before we can offer them the right solutions. But I think it'll happen soon. The southern German village of Wildpolzried has just over 2,500 residents, including the Pflugers and together they produce seven times more electricity than they use. There are solar panels everywhere here. On days with extensive periods of sunshine, Thomas Pfluger can even charge up the family's electric car with renewable energy. The photovoltaics produce so much power. It's more than we can use around the house, and even more than it takes to charge the batteries. This spare power, as you could call it, I use that to charge the car. So far, the family hasn't had a single day without power, even in winter when the roofs are covered in snow. Someone from the community is always there to step in.